President Trump told Fox News' Sean Hannity that, yes, he is considering pardoning individuals implicated in the Trump-Russia probe. That could have potentially include General Michael Flynn if a lower court judge continues with that case and Michael Flynn loses. As we have more on this story we brought you last night, a newly declassified FBI memo written by an FBI agent in August 2016 reveals more in what we have been reporting for several years now, that the FBI did secretly plant an FBI agent at a routine briefing with Donald Trump and General Flynn to secretly spy on them for both the FBI's Trump-Russia probe and the FBI's new probe into General Michael Flynn that James Comey had just opened up a day before. Let's welcome back to the show, I know she's fired up, former Trump Deputy <laughs> National Security Advisor KT McFarlane, author of the book Revolution. Great to see you, KT. When you heard that, what did you think? Was this the FBI's, quote, insurance policy that, you know, FBI official Peter Strzok had texted Lisa Page about to stop Trump from winning? Was that part of the insurance policy there? I think it was part of it, but I think the insurance policy was much bigger. You know, here's the thing, Liz, not only were they spying, but they kept notes. I mean, how dumb are these FBI agents, right? They go to a briefing, they're, they're there under a different purpose. I mean, a defensive briefing, a defensive briefing is for people who are new to classified information. And it tells you things like, look, you know, here's how people might try to work recruit you to be spies. Um, don't give your dog walker the key to your apartment because who knows, the dog walker might be an agent of the, of the Russian embassy. So there are all sorts of things that they show you and teach you how to protect yourself and how to protect classified information. So in the middle of these briefings, they've got their own spies. So here they are supposedly telling the Trump administration people, here's how you got to watch out for Russian and Chinese spies. And the whole time they were spying themselves. And then they were taking notes and putting notes in the file. These guys are caught, I mean, red-handed. You know, KT, you know, what's really interesting, too, let's break it down. Let's put in the context of yeah. what was go else was going on. In March 2016, Peter Strzok and Lisa Page text that Trump, Trump has lost them, that Hillary should win. August 8th, Lisa Page texts, quote, Trump's not ever going to be president, right? And Strzok texts back, no, he's not. Well, stop it. Then a week later, Strzok texts back P Lisa Page about that insurance policy because they cannot take the risk that Trump wins. Then the next day, the FBI opens a probe into General Flynn. Then the day after that, the FBI uses its briefing to spy on Trump and Flynn. In the context of that, you could see what's going on, right, KT? Sure. And at the same time, Liz, they were also leaking to their favorite newspaper reporters. You know, there were at that same period of time, there were anonymous sources saying Donald Trump is an agent of the Russians. General Flynn was working with Vladimir Putin. Um, Donald Trump never would have won the election if it hadn't been for Russian interference. So they were working it in a lot of different ways. They were spying on the Trump people. Um, not only during the campaign, but frankly, into the administration. They were leaking to anonymous sources. And then the intelligence community would point to those uh, articles in the press saying, see, anonymous sources, we better really investigate further. So it was like a circular thing. They planted the stories and then they used the stories to do the wiretapping and to do the sitting in on the meeting and, and the spying. And again, the yeah. thing I find extraordinary, Liz, they took notes. They either thought that they were so sure that Trump wouldn't win that they'd never be discovered, or they had an, this was their own personal insurance policy, so that if it was ever uncovered that they were no, doing the spy and they were doing the wrong deeds, they'd, get, they'd be able to blame the boss. I want to ask you about that, because FBI agent Joseph Pienka did the briefing with Trump yeah. and Flynn. He wrote the memo about it. Yeah. Peter Strzok signed off on it. So did Kevin Kleinsmith. Andrew McCabe, the FBI official, says they picked Pienka because he was a top agent on both the Trump, Russia, and Flynn probes. Pienka later interviews Flynn, along with Peter Strzok, trying to corner Flynn into a perjury trap lying to the FBI. Is it your sense that we're seeing documents released and declassified now because U.S. Attorney yeah. John Durham is talking to Pienka and maybe Peter yes. Strzok in his criminal probe? Yeah. He, I mean, here's how it works, you think at least that's in my on? experience. Because the Mueller invest, I think that's exactly what's going on. These are, are documents being declassified and released to the public. They're only sent out to the public once the Justice Department and Durham are finished with them. I think they've already talked to Pienka, and I think they're probably talking to Strzok, and then who knows you know, how far up the food chain it goes. But that's how they do these investigations. They start small, and then you're supposed to plead guilty or blame your boss, and then the boss blames the boss, and it works its way up the food chain. I mean, that's how they came after me. In our case, of course, 
in the Trump administration, nobody had done anything wrong. And so it really was a lot of dead ends. In this case, it looks like they're, they're uncovering an awful lot of stuff. I hope so. All right. Keita McFarland, it's great to see you.